Hi everyone, today I have a um, very short um, finale video for my um, Seven Summer Flings project pan for you. I unfortunately had a little bit of an issue with um, the last pro that I had left. Uh, with my last update I had used up all but one of my items and the issue is simply that I had used my um, last item up and that was the NYX Girls Gloss in the shade Peach. This was a nice peachy pink um, lip gloss that uh, left a little bit of a color on my lips. Now, um, I had finished it up, I put it on my table because I wanted to put it in my empties bag and unfortunately uh, my son saw that and um, asked what it is, wanted to know um, more about it and uh, when I told him that that is actually trash and it used to be a lip gloss, he must have thrown it out, that's the only um, explanation I have or the only thing I can think of. He likes throwing out trash, he um, enjoys doing that. So whenever you ask him to put something in the trash, he'll be all excited. And um, yeah, this happened to the last lip gloss, so I can't show that to you. I will link the um, last video down below so you can see it. I have been working really hard on that to just use it up and to be done with it because I didn't want to work on it for much longer. So um, that was definitely something that I was trying to focus on in the past um, bit. But all in all, um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase it simply because uh, for me and my liking it was a tad bit too pink. Um, but let's go through the other products real quick because this is the finale and I don't want to just cut this um, and finish this up in like a minute and a half. Now what I had in here that I had used up previously was my OPI nail polish in Brisbane bronze, bronze. For that I only wanted to make some decent progress. I did that. I This was pretty much a brand new bottle, maybe used once. And I worked my way down to the um, OPI lettering on that bottle. So I had done that quite successfully. Um, then I wanted to uh, hit pan in my M&Y blush in the shade 101. This was a pinky, shimmery, almost glittery blush that I um, had in my collection for many, many years. And I just wanted to use it up because it was the last non-cruelty-free blush in my collection. So my goal for this was to hit pan and I did that uh, relatively soon in the project. So um, that was pretty easy for me to do and by now it is actually used up. Another product I wanted to actually uh, make some progress on was my Burberry Wet and Dry Silk Shadow in the shade Pale Barley. For this I originally had said I wanted to hit pan. This happened way too fast. I decided to, to want to use up half of it. I did that and then I uh, repressed it in here. And as you can see by now I am down there. So this is what was left. Um, there was, it was a completely full pan. Uh, when I um, after repressing this and I have since been using this um, still every single day This is my go-to um, lid shade right now And if I don't have a lot of time I use this as my only shade all over and I just um, blend it out on the um, edges to uh, make it blur out So this was a very nice product and I should be done soon actually The next product I had was my uh, MAC fluid line in rich ground. I wanted to hit pan on that as well and I did that um, relatively early on. I actually have this here as well and um, I've made a bit more progress now so there you can see the pan that I have hit there. Then I had my Victoria Secret Secret Charm Scented Body Mist or Refreshing Body Mist. I wanted to use this up and I had done that with the last update. This is the bottle that I have still left. And um, the other product I wanted to use up was my Florina hand lotion with um, cherry blossom scent. I did use that one up as well within the first two months. So all in all, I, um, I was pretty successful with this. I did not set too difficult of a goal for me for that one, to be honest, just because I did not, um, I didn't want to um, be too ambitious here because I had quite a few product pans going so I didn't want to take this um, and make this too difficult I just wanted to make some progress on some items that I knew I wanted to work on this year and this summer so I did that so um, I have to say um, every now and then um, just um, setting lower goals for yourself for project pans is very nice because 
you can see more of a progress going that way and it um, can also be a bit more um, entertaining and engaging for you if you're doing project pans than if you have a project pan that is going and going and going and you don't see the end of it. So um, that being said, um, this was my uh, seven summer flings. I'm very happy for this, uh, ch this um, challenge slash project pan because it was interesting to do that and it was fun to work on seven products over summer and just enjoy them while I was using them and um, for some in some part even using them up. Now um, I do hope you will have a great day and a great week and I will definitely see you guys soon. Bye!